up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and in this video I want to go over how to create this really cool black bar opening effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here it creates these animated black bars um, like opening effect. I'm sure you've probably seen this effect a lot. I kind of wanted to recreate it um, kind of for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and just minus out and go over kind of basically how to create this effect. Now these black bars um, are not like PNG images or anything like that. I actually just went up here to titles and generators. I went to the generators tab right here and I clicked on custom generator right here. So this is actually just a custom generator right here. Well actually it's two custom generators. So what I did right here was I clicked on this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it. Now basically what I did was I, I tried to figure out how to actually like cut it right down the middle. Because you can see right here you wanna take your um, black uh, black background. Now obviously if you're not like, like if you're not doing a 1080 um, video, you may be doing like a different dimension of video, it's gonna be a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and head over to the bottom or the top, it doesn't matter which crop you go to. And then you want to go like this, start at the beginning, start, start at zero, and you want to go all the way to the end. Okay, so it's at 1080. So you want to divide 1080 by two. So if it's not 1080, it's like 720 or whatever, you divide that by two. So as you can see right here, you start at zero, go all the way to the end, 1080. So divide that by two, which will be 540. So that's basically how I figured out the dimensions that I'll show you in a second. You just want to start at the beginning. There we go, 1080. So let's go ahead and just delete this right here. So why do you need to know 1080? Well, you need to know 1080 because you can see right here, the bottom starts at 540 and the top starts at 540. You need to find the middle, that way it looks really cool when it opens up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just disable the bottom one right here. And as you can see right here, you wanna basically find the middle point. So like I said before, cutting in 1080 divided by two is 540. So what you wanna do right here is the top right here. The top part, you wanna set the crop, the crop bottom part to 540. So that's what you're gonna do right there. So the top part, and as you can see right here, this is the crop you're gonna want. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you want to keyframe the crop right here, and then you wanna go all the way to the end right here, and you want to go back um, one frame right here. Actually, I'll open up show video animations to make sure, okay, yeah. You wanna, I put one frame back as you can see right there. So let's hide video animations. Now what you wanna do is that I keyframe the crop all the way to 1080. So let's watch the top right here. I'll go ahead and open up crop, the bottom crop right here. And as you can see right here, the whole thing is being keyframed. So it'll go all the way to 1080, which is the max. So let's go ahead and just disable the top clip and go to the bottom right here. Okay, so the bottom, the bottom part. And again, as you can see right here, the crop, the top part of the crop and change that to 540. You want to keyframe the um, crop right there. You want to go to the end and go right here. And then you want to keyframe the top to 1080. So let's go ahead and just watch the keyframing and watch the crop. As you can see right there, it's going all the way down and all the way until it hits 1080, which is the max. And that's basically why five, four, why the beginning part is so important, is you want to find the middle part. So it's 1080, then divide that by two. If it's any other number, divide that by two. That way it'll start animating right in the middle. That way it won't start like animating right here. And this top part will be bigger than the bottom part. You want to have them um, both the same size right there. And then as you can see right here, you basically will start keyframing the top and the bottom right here. These two black bars are keyframed so they both open up at the same time. And that's how you create this really cool animated um, black bar opening effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.